Let's talk about how to unclog your garbage disposal. Your garbage disposal, okay? It's it's a big key piece to the plumbing in your kitchen. Um, you know, you shove the food down it, it works the drain right there, your kitchen sink, your dishwasher drains into it. It's for, for those of you who didn't know that, so if your garbage disposal isn't clear, if it's clogged, jammed, it's gonna affect your dishwasher from running. So, it's important to get that thing unclogged and working right, okay? What's it doing? You're flipping the switch on. Is it making a little humming noise? A mmm, you know, or is it just silent, quiet, nothing, okay? So if you're getting nothing, if it's silent, then it's probably popped its own breaker. Garbage disposals have their own safety breaker, like your GFI outlets do, you know? Actually, my GFI outlets right here. Um, and it has to be reset. It's generally a little red button at the bottom. But if it is making a noise humming when you turn it on, it means there's power still to it. It's trying to turn, but it can't. It's just jammed up and we gotta break it loose. So whichever one you're doing, before you get started here, turn the power back off, turn the switch back off, okay? And then let's go underneath that garbage disposal and let's take a look. So now we're looking at the bottom of the garbage disposal. And right there is our reset button, okay? Now, like I said before, if your garbage disposal is making no noise whatsoever, it's probably popped the little breaker, kind of like your GFI breaker on that light, and you're just gonna push it back in, okay? Now this right here in the middle, hard to show you, that. that's pretty good right there. That's where your Allen wrench goes, or your tool, and it's connected directly to the motor, okay? So make sure this is off before you do this, okay? Because you don't want it to come on and then rip the wrench out of your hand. But you're gonna work it back and forth, okay, to break it loose. Okay, that's, you're directly moving the whole insides of the garbage disposal when you do this, okay? So if something's stuck in there, it's gonna feel like it's really grinding until you get it broken loose. Now, maybe there's something stuck in here and when you kind of broke it loose with the wrench, but it's getting jammed right back. Well, you might have to go and take it out from up above and that happens, okay? So you're gonna have to, you know, you get a flashlight and kind of shine it down there and take a look and all right, so here's some older footage of mine, but this is what the inside of the garbage disposal looks like. So I know a lot of people are freaked out because they're thinking there's giant knife blades in there and you're gonna cut your fingers all up. And they're just metal paddles, okay? And they just kind of push the food in those little slots around the side. All right, so now you understand what should be in there. Now, of course, if you have um, like a bottle cap that got torn, you know, and while it's in there, that, that, that metal could cut you. If you have broken glass in there, that could cut you. So all those things, you have to be really careful and you might have to get a long pair of needle nose pliers to help you out. But some things are just gonna have to be pulled back out from up top, okay? Now some of you won't be like, I don't have that cool wrench you just showed. You know, where do I get one of those? Well, your garbage disposal should have come with one. But if not, I do have Amazon links in the description down below uh, where you can get the instinct curator, you know, ones which work work for the instinct curators, the Whirlpool, Kenmore, and stuff like that. Um, also, typically, uh, I've, the ones I've run across are all quarter of an inch Allen wrench, okay? So if you just have some Allen wrenches in the garage, a quarter inch should fit it, okay? Now, some of you want to be like, I don't even have that little hole in the middle of the bottom of my garage disposal where you put the wrench. What's up with that? Well, that's... I don't like those kind of garbage disposals. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of garbage disposal brands that I don't like, and the ones that don't have that are ones I don't like, obviously. Okay, so there is a special tool, uh, which I'll have a link also, an Amazon link in the description down below. So you're gonna stick it in there and get it, get that stuck on those two, on the two paddle blades inside the garbage disposal, and then just try to force it back and forth from the top using that, that kind of wrench. Um, obviously not as easy to use or as handy as sticking the Allen wrench in the bottom, but it's another option. Now, if your garbage disposal is just completely shot and you need to install a new one, I do have a video for that, pop up on the top right of your screen. And I will have uh, the garbage disposals that I like, that I've installed and I know are good. I'll have links for those in the description down below as well. I hope this was able to help you guys with your garbage disposal problems. Please share this video so I can help others as well. Now we're wrapping things up. If you didn't before, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, check out my website, and here's some additional videos for you guys to check out as well. You guys have a great one.